The Holy Kurbana or Holy Kurbono, Kurban Kudish Kurbana Kadisa in East Syriac, pronounced Kurbono Kadisho in West Syriac, the Holy Offering or Holy Sacrifice refers to the Eucharist as celebrated in Syriac Christianity. This includes various Oriental Orthodox and Eastern Catholic churches, including the Syriac Orthodox Church based in Syria, the Coptic Orthodox Church based in Egypt, the Maronite Catholic Church based in Lebanon, the Syriac Catholic Church based in Lebanon, the Syro-Malabar Catholic Church based in India, the Chaldean Catholic Church based in Iraq, the Ethiopian Orthodox Church based in Ethiopia, the Jacobite Syrian Orthodox Church based in India an archbishopric of the Syriac Orthodox Church, and the Malankara Orthodox Syrian Church based in India. The East Syriac Rite is used in the Assyrian Church of the East based in Iraq as well, however they are not in official communion with Oriental Orthodoxy, and they are not a part of the Eastern Catholic Churches. The main anaphora of the East Syriac tradition is the Holy Kurbana of Saints Adai and Mari, while that of the West Syriac tradition is the Divine Liturgy of Saint James. History The East Syriac word kurbana and the West Syriac word kurbono are derived from the Aramaic term kurbana when the temple stood in Jerusalem, and sacrifices were offered. Korban was a technical Hebrew term for some of the offerings that were brought there. It comes from a Hebrew root, karab, meaning, to draw close or near. A required korban was offered morning and evening daily and on holidays at certain times, additional korbanot were offered, in addition to which individuals could bring an optional personal korban. The Holy Kurbana is referred to as complete worship, since it is performed for the benefit of all members of the Church. The other sacraments are celebrated for individual members. Thus the Holy Kurbana is believed to be the sacrament that completes all the others. Hence it is called the Sacrament of Perfection, or the Queen of Sacraments. Topic. East Syriac traditions Topic. The East Syriac or Chaldean Rite was associated with the historical Church of the East, centered in the Persian capital of Seleucia Cte Siphon. Today the liturgy of Adai and Mari is used in the ancient Church of the East, the Assyrian Church of the East, the Chaldean Catholic Church, as well as the Syro-Malabar Catholic Church and the Chaldean Syrian Church in Kerala, India. Topic. Liturgy of Adai and Mari Topic. The liturgy belongs to the East Syriac Rite, the anaphora or Eucharistic prayer that is part of this liturgy, possibly dating back to 3rd century Edessa, even if the outline of the current form can be traced as far back only as the time of the Patriarch Mar Isho Yab III in the 7th century. This liturgy is traditionally attributed to Saint Adai, disciple of Saint Thomas the Apostle, and Saint Mari, a disciple of Saint Adai. In the form given in the oldest manuscripts, all of the High Middle Ages, this anaphora does not include the words of institution, a matter that raised ecumenical concerns. Topic: <laughs> West Syriac traditions. Topic: West Syriac liturgical rite is developed out of the ancient Antiochene rite of the Patriarchate of Antioch, adapting the Old Greek liturgy into Syriac, the language of the Syrian countryside. West Syriac liturgies represent one of the major strains in Syriac Christianity, the other being the East Syriac rite, the liturgy of the Church of the East and its descendants. Distinct West Syriac liturgies developed following the Council of Chalcedon, which largely divided the Christian community in Antioch into Melkites, who supported the emperor and the council and adopted the Byzantine rite, and the non-Chalcedonians, who rejected the council and developed an independent liturgy, the West Syriac rite. An independent West Syriac community that grew around the monastery of St. Maron eventually developed into the Maronite Church. A variant of the West Syriac Rite, the Malankara Rite, developed in the ancient Malankara Church of India and is still used in its descendant churches. They are the Jacobite Syrian Christian Church, the Syro-Malankara Catholic Church, the Malankara Orthodox Syrian Church, the Malankara Mar Thoma Syrian Church, and the Malabar Independent Syrian Church. Topic. Liturgy of St. James 
The liturgy is based on the traditions of the ancient rite of the early Christian Church of Jerusalem, as the mystagogic catechesis of St. Cyril of Jerusalem imply. The liturgy is associated with the name of James the Just, the brother of Jesus and Patriarch among the Jewish Christians at Jerusalem. Saint James was martyred at the hands of a mob incensed at his preaching about Jesus and his transgression of the law, an accusation made by the Jewish high priest of the time, Hanan ben Hanan. Among the Eastern liturgies, the liturgy of Saint James is one of the Antiochene group of liturgies, those ascribed to Saint James, to Saint Basil, and to Saint John Chrysostom. The liturgy of St. James is considered to be the oldest surviving liturgy developed for general use in the Church. Its date of composition is still disputed with some authorities proposing an early date, perhaps ca. AD 60, close to the time of composition of St. Paul's Epistle to the Romans, while most authorities propose a 4th century date for the known form, because the anaphora seems to have been developed from an ancient Egyptian form of the Basilian anaphoric family united with the anaphora described in the Catechisms of St. Cyril of Jerusalem. See also Divine Liturgy Holy Leaven Topic References Topic Topic External Links Topic Explanation about the Holy Kurbana, Street. Mary's Malankara Orthodox Cathedral of Philadelphia.